In the previous videos, we learned how to use Kahoot to create a game and engage students in class. Today, I'm going to share another useful teacher resource with you. It's called WordWall. First, let's go to the site and sign up to a basic account. You can click here or go to the top right corner. You can sign in with Google or type in your email address and create your own password. Type it twice to confirm and choose your location. Check this box and go to sign up. Now you're all set and on your page. Since we don't have any activity now, Let's create our first one by clicking here. You can also go to create activity on the top right of the page. Wow, can you believe that? There are 18 types of the interactive activities that you can choose to create. And even more if you want to upgrade the premium account. Something you can do here is more than in Kahoot. Here I will demo making some regular and common ones for you, and I will go over some other types later on. You may want to ask how it is different from Kahoot. So let's go to quiz first, and I will show you. First, we can change the activity title. Let's make it basic shapes quiz again. Type into your question and we're gonna add an image as a reference. Click the icon and you will find lots of relevant images sorted out based on your question. You can pick one or upload from the computer. Here I will upload one and type my answers below. As you can see, we can create six options of either text or image answers and make it more challenging, which is different from four options in Kahoot. Then don't forget to mark the right answer so it will be changed to a check mark. If you want to add more questions in this scan, you can just click add a question here. And the more you can do is 100 questions. So done! After you click done, now you can preview the game you made and make more changes from the further options. For example, you can change the scene here to another one you like. It provides different backgrounds, graphics, fonts, and sounds. For some younger children who are learning to read, they will need one with clear fonts. I will choose a different one. You can also find timer settings underneath the scenes. As for some games, you can set limited game lives so that students will be more serious when answering each time. Just like Kahoot, Wordwork can also put questions in a random order if you want. Let's apply the changes we made to this activity and we can set it as default for template to make it easier as well. Now you have to click share to make it public or share with your students only. You may want to change some information here like adding age groups, subject, or topics for the game so that people can easily access then publish here you go you're all set you can now copy the link and share it with other teachers or students online or through any of the platforms below next we're going to create another activity so let's go back to create activity but as you can see we won't be able to use some of the templates which belong to premium members. 
including true or false question type, what we can do in Kafu. Also, be aware of that. We can only create five activities at most through the free account. Compared with Kafu, the multiplayer games are also limited to some specific game types as well. So basically, the activity you created here will probably be used as student assignments. Anyway, I'm going to show you another type of question here, which is also very common and widely used. Yes, it's matching. There are three different types of matching games you can choose. I'll just demo one and then you try them all later. Let's go to find the match. And we can call it matching shapes this time. Then type some answers. We need to have at least three items, so just go to add an item, and we will have four here. Now I'm going to add some images as clues. Then we are done. Let's take a look at how it looks like. So here, our students have to be able to read these shapes to be able to answer the question. But what if you are teaching younger children? It can work too. Let me show you. Just go to edit content on the lower right corner of the game. Then we're back to editing mode. Here we just need to swap colors through a simple click. Woohoo! Now the answers were changed to images. Let's go check it out again. Even though we still have the words of shapes on it, this time you can pronounce them for younger students and let them choose the answer. It's gonna be so much easier and fun for them. Just like the quiz type, we can also find some GAN settings below. And you can change based on your need. So even though we cannot create a true or false question from the free account here compared with Kahoot, we actually have other choices to pick. That's not too bad, right? I hope you learned something. Next time we'll talk about other minigame types and more you can do with WordWall.